Hello, hello. Welcome, Smokin here, bringing you another episode of Scrolls Cast. We have a matchup between two players who, between the two of them, have over 6,500 games of Scrolls played, which I just find hilarious and awesome. We have Maester on the left playing what looks to be Gravelock Energy, Mancus on the right playing an Order Build. Uh, Maester has an excellent opening hand, a 2 into a 3, and a Gravelock Elder for later in the game. Mancus, with a speed and a general, looks to be more of a late game, mid range order build as opposed to the more tempo um, oriented builds. He starts with a Kabonk on the Gravelock Guard to cycle for another card. Maester gets out his Gravelock Outcast to defend his guard to guard the guard. Passes the turn to Mancus. Going up to three he will have a Righteous Partisan to play. That's an excellent scroll. It's really really strong. Of course drawing a card off of that is wonderful and passes the turn back to Maester. The Gravelock Outcast will be able to move down and threaten this Partisan, but he decides not to um, and just uh, maintains control of the middle, lets Mancus keep his Partisan without working to do so. Finds a Heritage and has Raelaros in hand, sacrifices up to four, Gallant Defender is played. So Gallant Defender currently, ha I think Ty goes to the Defender, yes it does. Um, so currently has two armor, that's going to be nearly impossible to get through. Um, but you know what does get through that? Machination Mindset into Machinated. That clears the entire row. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, Mancus had a great defensive setup, and it just got blown out of the water. Um, it did cost Maester quite a few scrolls to do that, so if Mancus is able to kill this outcast before it does more work, he can get back on track. He's also cantripping like, really, really well, so he still has a lot of scrolls in hand. Um, Uhu Longnose comes down in front of the Gravelock Outcast, Gravelock Guard, pokes the Partisan for one off of its pillage ability. Mancus has Awaking Stones. He can also go up to six and go ahead and drop a General if he chooses. I remember months and months ago, perhaps even over a year ago, Honorable General on turn 6 is one of the best plays in scrolls, but anymore, it's only, it's only mediocre. Um, you see the Waking Stones and Heritage come down. Spark takes out the um, Partisan, and that draws two scrolls for Mancus. And the L Outcast moves so that every space on the board is covered. Mancus can't play anything safely except right behind the Waking Stones, actually. Um, sacrifices his Arbalistir and drops a General, and then does move it behind the Waking Stones. And then has a Sinmarked Zealot as well. Uhu Longnose can generate some energy if, if uh, Meister decides to do so. Violent Dispersal takes down the Honorable General. Back in the day before the nerf to Violent Dispersal, that could have taken out the Waking Stones and let the uh, Relentless Damage come through and kill everything, but um, Meister has to settle for taking out an Idol, which is not a bad start at all. Look at all this damage that's been dealt. One damage dealt to the Sinmark Zealot as well. Imperial Resources in hand for Mancus. He goes ahead and plays it, draws some scrolls, builds up his resource count, up to nine resources now, um, but he's already lost his middle Idol. And for these late game order decks that are built around the uh, stones, um, it's actually really key for them to keep that middle idle. It makes their late game defensive plan much easier. So Maester has done a good job of preventing that. Burn takes out the Zealot. He goes down in flames. Gravelock Raider will come down as well, more than likely. Um, and it does. Maester will have to position around Manganel. Um, I'm not sure if he expects it, but typically Mancus's deck... A uh, deck like this would have Mangan, and there it is, right on cue. Needs to find the speed, though, for it to be truly useful. Sacrifices for scrolls, and does not hit the speed. Um, can Kabonk, could Gallant Defender, could Pother to Cantrip a little bit. Um, we see the Kabonk come down, so that puts the Uhu in Manganel range. Still hasn't found the speed. Gallant Defender comes down, and will he Pother just for the card draw? It looks like he will, and that does move the outcast up and away, which is um, actually pretty nice. Uh, Maester gets a freak down, and next turn will be able to set up his... Oh, actually, he uh, gained resources off the Uhu. Very nice play. So he got uh, five resources off the Uhu, used that to play the omelet, and then used it its ability right away to get a free scroll draw. So he's got that uh, omelet engine up and running. Mancus finds another Imperial resources, needs to figure out a way to deal with some of these units, so it needs to find a speed right now and take out those two units. Infiltrate's a good start, and another Infiltrate's an even better start. Um, really nice addition to this deck. Slows up the Gravelock Outcast. Protects that top idol. 
goes up to seven and then uh imperial resources up to 11 now oh two mangonels in hand if he can find that speed he'll be in really good shape um lockling brood fury is an option for maester right now but m more than likely he'll sacrifice one of those and he does finds a spark um which hmm, not a, not an impressive hand and he can't even empty his hand really to uh start drawing off the snarkle omelet so he's forced just to kind of do a little bit of damage. He does play an omelet in front. Doesn't fury. He could have got some extra idle damage in off the fury, but decides to save that. Another waking stones for Mancus. I'm sure he's very happy to see that. Um, pitches his zealot. Finds a third mangonel. Still no speed. I don't think we've seen any of them yet. So that means he has three speeds in his bottom 18 scrolls. So we'll be seeing about one every other turn from here on out, even if he doesn't draw any cards. Uh, waking stones comes to the top, and that defends that idle well. Royal Vanguard played behind, Infiltrate slows down the Uhu, and Gallant Defender gets a kill. Forge for Maester. Um, everything on top is locked down pretty darn well. It's going to just take a lot of pounding away to get through those stones, so Maester may be tempted to try to move down and deal with these bottom idols instead. Um, Mancus, I haven't seen Warding Stone, um, the counterpart to Waking Stone, so he might or might not have that in his deck. Typically these decks do, but not all of them do. Freak gets in for one damage on the Waking Stones, getting that party started. Still no speed. Probably will sacrifice that power bound for scrolls, I would imagine. And he does. Kabonk and Wing Sorceress. So some good scrolls, but still no speed. Um, he could just lay out a Mangonel, like maybe back behind these stones, and just do some area denial. And then when that Mangonel counts down naturally, that can be a speed for the rest of them. Kabonk's the Freak. Finds an Arbalist Steer. Um, currently the uh, Relentless Outcast is not in a position to threaten anything unless Maester has a Tick Bomb that he can pull off the top of his deck, and I don't know that he's running Tick Bomb. Um, Arbalist Deer played down at the bottom behind the Vanguard and Defender. Pother moves the Omelette into an awkward position for Maester. Powerbound planned on the Defender in front, so Mancus is really setting up for his late game power. Elder, oh, Sacrifice the Fury. I thought that might have been potentially useful, um, but Sacrifice the Fury has Elder, Burn, Violent Dispersal. Hmm. Maester was dominating early, but has found himself sort of walled off by all of this excellent armor. Um, what could really be done here? Violent Dispersal takes out the Arbalist Steer, and that's going to be his turn, really. Um, can do one damage to an idol is really all, and one damage to the Waking Stones. Um, did move his Raider up intelligently to... Uh, put himself in a position to take out that stones a little quicker if Mancus can find another Imperial resources that will heal the stones and just right on cue he finds the resources still no speeds I'm I'm almost I'm like 95% sure he's running speeds in this deck there they are okay so just all three speeds in the bottom 10 cards um, but Imperial resources did heal both waking stones so next turn we're gonna see some epic mangonel speed mangonel mangonel action he can afford all four so that's gonna be really ugly for Maester and will be fun to watch and there's another speed as well units come crashing in and actually take out some of those guys um, note that this idol this fourth idol is undefended if Maester can find he already sacrificed for scrolls he wasn't able to find a machinated to take it out um, but elder is going to be nice spark as well so he does take out that stones and gets a little bit of idle damage in here's a big turn um, Maester needs to think very careful uh, carefully about his mangonel positioning um, he because there's no focus play that can be made um, he's it's going to take two mangonels to take out these four units up here so he'll have to position as best he can um, if he does do the triple mangonel play which I do think is what's coming to take out as many of these units I think he can get um, one two I think he can get these four units down Let's see that's gonna deal some serious damage so I we'll want to speed this one and then he'll want to play another one um, I think he can play it to hit these two units he does go ahead and take out the two raiders He's got another mangonel. No, he's going to just infiltrate. So he's okay just dealing some damage. Um, it does count down the freak. I think he could have played another mangonel and taken those two out, which is what I would have done. Um, but now at least this, this coming turn, he can uh, speed another mangonel and then play out the third one and hit again. Just has to be careful. Another uh, Gravelock Elder would put that freak out of range. 
uh, and Potion of Resistance on the Elder makes it hard to kill as well. Ooh, he's actually recovered nicely from this situation. Um, Mancus needs to think about how to get through this. Awakening Stones will be very helpful. That's not what Maester wants to see, that's for sure. So Mangano Speed can take out three units, so that is almost certainly going to be one of the plays made. Waking Stones comes down, Heritage and Powerbound in hand, Speed on one Mangonel, and um, I assume another Mangonel is coming. I don't... I actually would have uh, not speeded this first one so that you could continue letting it count down and be on one next turn, which would be nice. Um, Heritage on his Waking Stone, so if it does fall, then he'll at least get some scrolls out of it. And the Mangonel gets a hit and takes out three units, including, I think it was like 13 power worth of units or something like that. And Maester decides that that's enough. He uh, won't be able to get through that defense and concedes the match. So this was actually a really fun matchup to watch. Maester with a great early press pressure with his Gravelocks, and Mancus managed to put the brakes on just in time behind Imperial Resources and triple Mangonel, triple speed. This has been Smogan with scrolls. Cast. Join the uh, Badger, follow the Badger Guild YouTube channel for more episodes like this one. Thank you for watching.